Hello everyone, welcome to another Peacock TV video. Now today I will show you how you can fix Peacock TV app error that is code CVF. So this is code CVF error. So if you have an error like this, then there are multiple ways to fix this error because this error, believe it or not, will happen to more people, but in a different kind of way and it's a different kind of solution for each error. So. Basically here are just some of the things that you can do. First is obviously to check your internet connection. You need to locate the power cord of your router. Try to restart your internet connection, unplug the power cord from the router and wait a few seconds and then try to connect it again. Now obviously this is a very common way to uh, you know fix any errors but this can help you as well. Now second thing is to check uh, update for the app. Make sure to open the app store or search for Peacock TV in your uh, app store on your TV. Make sure to update the app because app needs to be up to date in order to run correctly. Third thing is to clear the app cache. Now if you still have the error then try to clear the cache for the Peacock app. Now if you're using Peacock app on your uh, Android device then you will have to go and clear the cache on your Android device. Now however if you're using the Peacock from your laptop browser then clear your browser cache or try using alternate browser or new browser. This is what works in most cases as well. Now fix four, as you can see, you can log out from Peacock and restart the device. This is usually also what helps. Uh, this is very self-explanatory. And then, you know, fix five, six and seven, you know, is the Peacock app compatible with your device? If it's not, then try a different device. Are you using screen overlay on screen app? If you're using, turn that off because that will be able to fix uh, also your code. And then, you know, there are other internet and contact, uh, you know, other uh, solutions that you can go. We try other internet or contact support. Usually contacting support will not really resolve the issue, but it might, they might give you an alternate solution that is, uh, you know, a solution that I didn't give you in this video. So uh, yeah, this is pretty much how you can fix all of these errors. If you have any question or comments, Comment down below and we'll see you in the next video.